Well, today started off a little different. I looked outside and there was about an inch of snow, but it was coming down pretty heavy. And I figured I'd go out and shovel off the driveway and salt it so that the, uh, the kids didn't slip and fall on their way walking out to the bus. And I got outside and realized there was about two inches. Now, my trigger point is three inches. I don't plow anything under that for all my contracts, but it was really heavy, really thick, wet snow, like almost pure slush really nasty stuff so um, I was brushing off my wife's vehicle so she can go to work brushing off my truck and I heard somebody yell Randy can you come and help me I'm stuck like I just blew that stop sign <laughs> anyway um, <clears throat> it was my neighbor and she was around the corner and she had gone into the ditch front end of her vehicle first the back two tires were about off the ground she has a Chevy Equinox it's a little front wheel drive but um, so I Drove the truck over there, put my recovery strap on my hitch and then on the back of her SUV and I pulled her out. But then I had, to, it's like a little hill incline going up onto the main road from the street I live on. So I had to plow the last 30 yards of that out getting up to the main road because it, you couldn't drive anywhere. She couldn't even get up the hill. I had it in four wheel drive. I was still sliding all over. I had brand new tires. Not that I'm a fan of these tires on this truck, but... Um, I was sliding all over so I plowed that out so she could get out to the main road and I told my wife I went back home through the or told my wife that you know I gotta go I gotta go clear some driveways so I went out and started plowing I plowed a whole bunch of them um, a lot of them did have right around three inches a lot of these here you're seeing have about two and a half um, some of them only had two but it's supposed to drop down in the teens for the next three days so I didn't want this building up on there and crusting up with them driving on it because then if we do get more snow before this melts off it just I mean you guys and you guys that plow snow you know it just hardens up and it'll be all grooved and it's like running your plow across railroad tracks so I figured to scrape them down a little bit just get the top off of them and uh, that way if it does if we do get that freeze and then we do get snow that has to be plowed after that you know it will uh it'll be a lot easier to plow but this is giving you guys an idea a lot of people keep asking how close are my driveways this is giving you an idea on how close you know the majority of my driveways are some of them are a little spaced out but you know this is the majority of them i have right about 52 driveways no parking lots i got rid of all those at the end of last year as most of you guys know and uh and like I said, almost uh, every one of them is within a, within a five mile radius of my house. Most of them are within a two mile radius of my house. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm just going through and I'm scraping everything up. Everything's working great. And, uh, you know, the camera got a little dirty here from driving down the road with it. But I have the GoPro remote in the truck. So I just turn the camera on and turn it off whenever I want. It makes it really nice. And I realized, I believe, after this driveway that the screen was getting screwed up, the lens. So I got out and cleared it off. But, you know, this is just a different angle. I know you guys have been wanting some different camera views. And I wanted to try it out and, you know, see how dirty it was actually going to get driving down the road and stuff. So here you go.
Now this here is the one end of my street. Um, the town always comes through and they plow. You can see to the right there, they come around the corner, but there's like a turnaround here at the end and a center median here. And for some reason they never go around it and then they leave a big wind roll of snow right up the middle. So usually when I'm done with my plowing route and I come back home, I do a bunch on my street as well. So I usually clean this up for my neighbors. That way they don't have to deal with it. And as you can tell, there's four or five houses off to the right. So they have to drive through this to get over to their houses. Like I said, I don't know why the town never cleans this up, but I just do it anyway. There is actually an ordinance in my area. It's against the law for a private contractor to um, plow on any main roads, but I really don't care. I've been doing it for years and I'm yet for them to say anything to me. I know all the highway guys and nobody's ever said anything to me probably because I'm doing their job for them. But, uh, you know, if they ever tell me to stop, then I will probably stop at that point. But until they do, I'm going to keep on doing it. So um, I don't really think there's any legal things they can do to me other than tell me to stop. I highly doubt somebody's going to show up at my door with a fine. But either way, so I clean that up and then I just start scraping this driveway out. You know, as you, I'm sure you guys can tell, there really isn't much here at all in my neighborhood. Uh, finally, a total of about two and a half inches, I would say. Um, some spots actually did have the three inches, but, you know, not that much at all. And it's all that wet, slushy, thick stuff, like I mentioned. So really hard stuff to shovel. And usually when there's only a couple inches, um, I'll even shovel my own driveway off. But you know, a lot of my customers are older and I don't want them out there shoveling this stuff anyway. So, you know, it just makes it easier if I just go through and scrape it up and, you know, then it's done and it's out of the way for them. And uh, like I said, it makes it easier on me as well if it comes down to the point where we get more snow and the stuff freezes after they've been driving on. It just becomes a nightmare. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching this. And I will continue to do some uh, plowing with the camera in this view because it seems to not be that big of a deal um again i don't know how it'll be in the middle of a storm but we will find out if you guys really like this please let me know smash that thumbs up button i'm usually not one to say that but you know that's the best way to show me that you like the video and you like the way i'm doing it so go ahead and hit that comment below if you like this angle and we will definitely go from there and i'll try to get a lot more if we get any more snow i'm sure there's still more to come february is always our worst month in my area so it's been a really weird winter we'll see what happens Thank you.